723. So as you're driving through the arterial project, uh, progress is continuing. And uh, Jim Piccola is on now from the DOT. There's something new that is coming, and I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to come just in time for a big Thursday night event that uh, is going to be starting not too far in the uh, in the near future. Uh, Jim, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Bill. Uh, new news in that, uh, it, you know, I was driving by this yesterday, but the ramp, uh, so if I'm in the southbound lane, if I'm southbound, that ramp that gets off at Court Street, it looks like it's pretty close. Is, is that the case? Well, um, actually, it's the ramp um, that comes off of Bay Street, off of Court to, um, from Bay, which you'll be able to go southbound on. So, Got it. Uh, okay. As soon as, we, uh, as soon as we get some stuff done, uh, in not too long in the future, we will be opening that ramp. So if you're heading, say, west towards the brewery district and you want to take that left to go to 12, 5 8, 12 south, you'll be able to turn onto Bay Street and then take that ramp directly to 5812 South. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. That's a big, uh, I mean, that is the one sticking point over in that area that has been uh, for years, right? You could never make that left-hand turn. You never make that left-hand turn. That's correct. How is, uh, it seems like this, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, this winter that we had has to have been able to keep things moving quickly for you guys. Uh, absolutely. You know, a lot of the work that, uh, you know, we did was planned, but it just made it a lot nicer for the uh, the crews out there working. Absolutely. And uh, and and tell me about the uh, about the other ramp. So the ramp, if you were to be coming, uh, the ramp that'd be off Twelve South onto Court Street. Um, it seems like everything's there. There's just no there's no uh, guide rails or whatever is going to be needed to. Uh, uh, I, I have no idea what you need to do there, but it seems like it's fairly close. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no. I, I, I can't give you the terminology because I don't know. It doesn't let the little thingies are up yet for this to, yeah. to work. Yep, the uh, temporary traffic barrier is still in place. Uh, there is still quite a bit of work that still needs to be done on that end of the ramp uh, to tie it actually into Court Street. You can't see that because of the barrier. Um, but uh, like I said, we're progressing. Uh, today we have one more uh, core on the Oriskany Street Bridge south abutment, the wing wall there, and that means we only have 12 more uh, concrete pours uh, for our uh, substructure work. So uh, we're really uh, knocking it down. Uh, and then the walking, uh, the the walking bridge there, um, yeah. that is partially closed right now, or is completely closed. What is being done? And and I guess the question would be. Why, after it was put up, are we going back in? Was there a, a mistake, or is this something that was also planned to be repaired? No. Um, you know, after conversations with a lot of the people that use the pedestrian bridge, they had asked us, you know, um, we asked them, you know, what they felt about it. So we were thinking about this uh, in the late fall and, and made some design changes over the winter. And um, to make it a little bit, you know, uh, these enhancements, what they're going to do, is uh, put a more gradual slope on that west ramp. Um, also, the areas that, um, these landing areas that are needed to be in there, those are going to be highlighted with, uh, like, a tinted concrete so they stand out more. Okay. Um, and we are going to extend it across Warren Street. So uh, we, we think these enhancements are going to make it much more, uh, you know, pedestrian-friendly, uh, see more people use it. Um, it's really a signature piece you know, on the north-south arterial project, and, and we're very, very happy about, you know, the use that it's getting. And uh, so right now, the entire bridge is closed. Um, we're going to, we're working very hard to complete the work up on the top of the ramp. So we're hoping within the next, say, three to four weeks to actually open up the stair portion. Okay. Um, so, and, and that's probably about 90% of our users. So, um so once uh, you know that work is completed, we will open it from the stairs north, and um, and then, like I said, work on the All southern right. part of that ramp. And interestingly, I, I we talked to um, actually it was Bill Manjo who uh, is River Hills uh, Properties uh, was on the other day and talked about the arterial. And because we, we've heard in the beginning, well, you know these arterials they they really separate, they divide West Utica from Utica. But uh, his approach to this was just the opposite. That with all of the the off ramps, all of the changes, the ease, that it actually does just the opposite. And then you know the walking uh, uh, the bridge as well, but it does just the opposite. It's really 
undoing what was done back during uh, urban uh, uh, development back in the 60s and really connecting the the two west utica to 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 utica do you agree with that i'm assuming you do agree with that oh it, absolutely and, and it's much safer now too uh, you know we uh, you still have your crossings at oswego and noise um we've eliminated two crossings though one at warren and at sunset but at that point there we put the pedestrian bridge um we've also taken out the conflict with you know the uh, high-speed traffic at court street with the addition of that bridge but again, there is um, a lot of, you, you know, you have your multi-use trail that comes down through there, plus Court Street now. It's much safer. It will be a lot safer, um, you know, once we're completed for Got pedestrians it. to cross through there. All right. And uh, then you have, yep. Yeah, and then you have Columbia and Lafayette. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of entrances, you know, from one side to the other sure. through the whole uh, project. Uh, here is Joe. Joe, Is this Joe Lode who has a question for uh, for Jim? Joe, yeah, uh, go uh, ahead. First of all, just a real quick comment. I do believe it bridges the gap, so to speak, yeah, of, yeah. of where Utica can Utica. I think that's a great idea. Now, I had heard a rumor that they were going to take apart some of the pedestrian bridge because there was some issues with motorized wheelchairs. I, and, uh, and I didn't know if that was the case or if that was just a rumor. No, that's just, uh, it's not, you know, we didn't see any issues with anybody using it other than, you know, people had said to us that, you know, they would like to see it, you know, maybe a, a more gradual slope in there. And, again, with, you know, the project isn't closed out yet, and with all the items in the contract that we still have, it just gave us an opportunity. Let's do this now before, you know, yeah. maybe two, three years go by. And, you know, the project's completed. Now you got to relet another project. It's right, right. A lot got more it. money. So. Uh, I will it say, as long, as long as we have Joe on the line, you know, if this was, you know, my old days of radio, we did some uh, pretty crazy things. If this ramp was, if this walking bridge was only there back in the in the 80s, oh, my Lord. Jim. Yeah, right. I know. I'd have a lot of fun <laughs> with that, wouldn't I? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Joe. I, I know there would be something to do with styrofoam peanuts or bubble wrap. There would be something going that. on. I don't know. Uh, something. Uh, Joe, <laughs> I appreciate it. And uh, Jim Piccola, as always, thanks for the update. Again, uh, the ramp, uh, you'll be able to make that left-hand turn to go south uh, onto the arterial from court. That's a really, that's a really big step. That's a real big part of this whole thing. Yeah. Yep. I think uh, people are going to really enjoy that. Again, you know, um, as we make progress and uh, you know we start opening little bits here and there, um, you know, by the end of fall, um, early winter, you know, a lot of this will be completed this year. And and last question, I, I promise. If the the new hospital looks like it's going in downtown Utica. Um, a lot of people have asked questions about access and ambulance access and th- that sort of thing. Was this the project, was, was the hospital brought up to you before the project got underway, or will there be modifications? Uh, will there, where, where are we on that? No, it didn't have anything to do with the uh, north-south arterial project, uh, but it, uh, we, do, we are looking at it with our odd to broad project uh, that will be coming out in 2018. Okay. Um, we've been working with the hospital and their consultants. Uh, you know, if they ended up coming down here, what could be done? Um, so, you know, we're excited about it, and All right. we'll work with them. All right, Jim, thanks as always. Uh, thanks for coming on. My pleasure, Bill. Thank you, guys. Jim uh, Picola from the uh, DOT. Uh, today is the 21st of April, Thursday. Candace Randall and Clinton is celebrating today. Candace, happy birthday. She gets a cake from the Florentine Pastry Shop on Bleecker Street in Utica. And to get a birthday on, you go to our VIP club and submit your birthday online at WIBX950.com. Or you can send in a postcard, WIBX Birthdays, 9418 River Road, Marcy, 13403. Christine has news in one minute on WIBX.